Hi guys. Well, this is take five of this video. So, you're looking at my um, active designed by Rani. As this is up, I'm going to start with this one, sort of reverse of how I want to do it, but never mind. Um, I haven't changed the front wheel because I can't find a standard alloy one. I've got two black rims with brake disc on, but not a standard alloy. And considering the whole bike is black, I thought black rims would be um, overkill. White would be nice, actually. I've got a white rear one, but I don't have a white front. But yeah, white would be nice in that. Um, but yeah, I've changed the pedals. Rear gears still need a little bit of tweaking. But the brakes work. And it rides nicely. It's just that buckle in the front wheel. I couldn't even feel the buckle when I was riding it, actually. But it's still going to annoy me because I know it's there. And every time you look down when you're riding the bike, you're going to see it. So <laughs> it will annoy the living hell out of me until I do change it. Anyway, what's next? Here's the red reflex, which I did today. That's finished. Done the back wheel. Couldn't get the free wheel off. I did have another go at getting the free wheel off the original wheel, but that's that's never coming off. So, uh, unfortunately, that's a good back wheel. That's going to have to go in the bin. <laughs> but, uh, never mind. Brakes and gears are all working on this now. It's currently up on Gumtree. No messages yet. But uh, it's going up on eBay once I've done this video. I just mustn't forget that in, on this pedal, this side, there's a crack in the plastic. It's not affecting the pedal, it's just the plastic um, outer that's cracked. Got to find it now. There it is. Uh, this one's got a bid on it. So I put it on eBay last night and for £25 start bid. Someone's bid on it, so that's technically sold. Getting messaged. Yeah, I can reply to that in a little bit. Right. Um, I've got the girls' bike at Mum's to do, but I'll do that later. Or well, probably next week, because I don't need it right this moment. No, I don't need it right this moment. Oh, the other thing I've been doing, I have noted down, I do apologise for the chair, I have noted down, um, it's probably not going to come up clearly on there, but date and time start, time finish, etc. So, if the DWP wants to check, this is why I was told I should do this, if they want to check on what I'm doing, I can just say, well, here it is, <laughs> I've noted it all down. And I will also um, note down any bikes that I sell as well. Of course, personal bikes that I'm keeping for myself, I'm not going to put down on there. Because I don't class that as work, I class that as um, the hobby side of it, you know. For personal use, so to speak. <sighs> right. So I think I might do a bit more work on this. All I've got to do is put a chain on it, pump the tires up. Uh, oh, pardon me. Throw all the cables on, find the grip. I took both grips off and I laid them up there. And one of them's gone walkies and I haven't seen it since. So hell only knows where that's gone. So. That burp actually tasted like scotch egg. <laughs> oh, people. Yeah, just a couple of people walking past. It's quite dark out there at the moment because I think this light on the wall has gone altogether. It hasn't been on for quite a while and I keep hearing the hum and loud buzzing from it where it tries to start but... It in. So it's probably
probably gone all together now. Um, I might actually have to go and take a drink to try and get rid of this place. <laughs> right. Oh, I've put the Compact Evo back up here because I do like the HP, but I actually prefer this one for this job. That. And I left the HP on for about an hour and a half to two hours, and it got really sluggish <coughs> and laggy with opening programs. Then again, it's currently only got 512 megabytes of RAM. Because I need PC 2100 RAM, and I don't have it, apart from what's currently installed on there. Um, and this has got 768 megabytes of RAM. So I put the gig back in the Alienware. I thought I might as well have at least one kick-ass XP laptop. <laughs> I don't think I can get much better than that one, to be honest. Not in my collection, anyway. <coughs> Now, if I could get it work, and the Toshiba would then would be the um, second kick-ass one. But uh, at the moment, the best XP laptop I've got is the Alienware, probably followed by that one. But uh, yeah, I've got this puppy set up up here again. It's my favourite, or one of my favourites, anyway. Uh, da -da, da -da. Got a bit more of the Crimbo display done on here. If you're wondering why I've got tables of food there, that's going to be the party. I've just got to add the people. <laughs> you can't have a party without the people. Uh, I'm sure there was something else I wanted to discuss as well. There was actually, and it's completely gone now. Well, that light has just tried to fire up again. So, should we see if it's come on? I don't actually see it hasn't. No, it's just trying to ignite, and it isn't. It's a sodium lamp. <coughs> so the sodium lamp itself has gone. If I remember, I'll email customer service at Victory Housing and um, report it. So you can do that via email. Getting bloody windy in here. I've sorted my... Um, address issue out at the surgery what it was because um, pretty much all my family members don't live in town I'm actually the only one left in North Walsham <laughs> of my direct family you know out of my uh, mum dad and my siblings I am the only one that lives in town now so they just wanted to check that I hadn't gone anywhere or gone with them that's all it's annoying in a sense, but I suppose understandable. So I just phoned the number on the letter. I was going to cycle down there, but I thought, heavy rush hour traffic. I don't like traffic at the best of times, to be honest, on a bicycle. But I just thought, nah, I'll ring the phone number, it's easy. Easier, I should say. And safer. <laughs> I love riding a bicycle but oh you gotta be so careful. I just every time I see a cyclist doing something stupid on the road I just wanna go because it's their lives they're playing with. What you risk your own life? Is your life that bad that you got to try and commit suicide by getting hit by a car? Jeez. It's no wonder drivers hate cyclists to be honest. I'll do my damnedest to be as good of a cyclist as I can for that reason one because I don't want to get hit by a car no I don't want to end up in hospital or worse <laughs> <coughs> I 
And I'm sure other drivers don't particularly want to hit me either. Because <laughs> that's not going to be nice for them knowing, you know, that they've possibly killed someone. Even if it was that person's fault. <clears throat> but, uh, at the same time, I may not be a driver myself, but at the same time, I can see the driver's point of view. When they have to deal with wanker cyclists all day. But actually, from videos I see on YouTube, it seems to be that it's mostly in cities. I've never seen videos from small towns like mine. It just seems to be that the worst drivers and cyclists are in the big cities. Mind you, I have ridden in Norwich, and uh, yeah, I don't like that. I'd rather ride around here. So you've really got to keep these peeled. <clears throat> what was it someone said to me once? Treat everyone else on the road like they are idiots. I know that seem, probably seems a bit weird to say, but it makes sense. Because you can't predict what they're going to do. Especially when some drivers decide to suddenly change their mind. Because <laughs> uh, I, I was waiting at a junction earlier, and this happens regularly on this particular junction. I'm waiting there, and there's a car coming down the road to my right, so I'm just waiting. It's not indicating. Gets right on top of the junction, and then it's almost like, oh shit, better indicate, click. <laughs> Um, the only reason that annoys me is because I'm sitting there like a plank, waiting to go, assuming the car is actually going to keep going straight, and then they suddenly turn. But actually the worst, of, worst thing I hate more than that is cars that don't bother using turn signals at all. Um, as a cyclist, there's only two exceptions I have where I don't use arm signals. One, if there's no traffic around me, I don't bother. You know, if there's no traffic behind me and no traffic in front of me, I don't bother using my arm signals because there's no point. Who am I signalling for? You know, I'm just looking like a prat like that otherwise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if I've got, say, a heavy carrier bag on the left arm, then I may not signal left because of it. Um, reason being... If anyone's ridden a cycle, you'll know that when you stick a weight out like that on your arm, it can throw you off balance. And you have to fight that weight. <coughs> um, that actually makes me feel that um, perhaps it should be mandatory for a bicycle. I'm just trying to stand you on. What the hell's going on there? There we go. It does make me feel that it should be mandatory for cyclists to have the same sort of lights a motorcycle or a car has. Turn signals, front light, rear light, a standard, maybe even a brake light. Because <clears throat> um, at least with turn signals, electric ones, if you've got your hands full, you can just flick a switch like you would on a motorbike, you know, a little up down switch or whatever or a left right switch and um, use electric signals I'd use them if I had them on the bike um, but I guess one of the issues is not all bikes are um, suited to have such lights um, fed. I know you can actually go on eBay and buy electric turn signals for bikes and wireless ones uh, Wireless ones are a bit expensive, but I think if I ever get another set, because I did have a set once, but the, um, the control unit itself broke. It was partly my fault because something fell on it in the shed. <laughs> if it weren't for that, and it weren't for the fact it got water in it, because it, it was only a cheap one, the control unit, one, got water in it, and two, like I said, something fell on it in the shed and broke it. Um, if it weren't for those two things, it would probably still be going, but what do you expect for something that was less than £5? 
Good LEDs in it, though. And that had the brake light feature. Um, but you can get expensive ones, which, which I think if I ever get another set, that's what I'm going to go for. Perhaps wireless ones, so I'm going to run a wire down the frame. Because uh, that looks untidy. <coughs> Yeah. Anyway, Mum should be coming over tomorrow. She's got. I, know, she, I think she said she's got a hair appointment in the morning. Did she say she's got a dental appointment after that? I know she's got two appointments tomorrow. <coughs> I'm not sure if I'll go over to Mum's tomorrow though. Um, I don't really have anything here to do now sort of ran out of tasks, unless I went over tomorrow and dragged the um, ladies mountain bike back, but I don't need that right this minute so that can stay there. If I go over at the weekend I'll bring it back. I'll just let a quiet one go and I don't think I want to do that too hard, I might fall through. <laughs> um. don't think there's much else to talk about at the moment. Not that I can think of, anyway. <sighs> I suppose I could say, in the new year, I should have a job. If all goes to plan. Probably going to be part-time at first. <clears throat> just to see how things go and whatnot. And if things pick up fine, then I'll go full-time. That light has actually sounded like, um, if you've ever watched an electronics video, you know, where they make the arcs deliberately. That's what it sounded like. And it doesn't sound too good, actually. Um, it's a bit slow, because I should have emailed Victory Housing earlier today. Because then that would have given them time to arrange a Sparky to come out tomorrow. If I had the equipment, I'd have done it myself, because it only needs a sodium lamp put in it. Because <coughs> the lamp itself is gone. But I don't have a bulb, and I don't have a ladder. I don't like ladders too much anyway. Which some may find weird, because I use a ladder to get into the loft at Mum's. But uh, for some reason I can go up easier than I can go down. I am getting better though. I used to be absolutely terrified of ladders. But I am uh, getting better. <sighs> now I bought these last week and uh, I'm not really sure why. Because I haven't used them. I don't need them for the Lego to be honest but I'm I'm sure I'll find another use for them. Tools? <laughs> oh God. That light really is making some weird noises now. Anyway, I've got plenty of tools. I've got some tools I want to take to Mum's. Because um, I have a habit of putting tools and things in my pocket. Forget about them and then they end up coming home. Um, although those wire cutters are mine, but I don't need them. They're good enough for cutting electric wire, but um, they're not good enough for cutting brake cables on bikes anymore. They've got a bit too blunt for that. But I've got plenty of standing knives. Actually, I think that was at Mum's in the first place, that one. Um, spanners down there to go. I'm not sure about screwdrivers, though. Another one down there, there's another one, oh, another one there. I've got some more good ones like this somewhere. Emphasis on somewhere. <laughs> um, <clears throat> not quite sure where yet. I've actually got three toolboxes, I've just realised. So I've got this one here, which I'm not really using. So what I might actually do is 
Let's have a sort through that. Bung in all the tools I want to take to Mum's and just take the bloody toolbox over there. You know, and actually have a proper toolbox over Mum's where I can sit like pairs of these in and whatnot, which I think there's actually pairs of pliers in there, actually. Because there's nothing like that over Mum's. Stepdad's just got tool bags from where he used to do floor laying and whatnot. But he, there is no actual toolbox. Well, there's a little red thing up the corner, but there isn't really a lot in that. And we need to have a good sort out in that workshop anyway. Hmm. Maybe I will go over to Mum's tomorrow. Possibly. Um. Oh, sorry about that. Could take this thing with me. It's got a fair bit of weight in it. Uh, like I said, I can take out all the tools that I don't want. Don't want to take to mum's, I mean, and uh, leave in all the tools I do want. Now, I have actually found some tools that are actually my stepdad's. <laughs> Again, they probably found their way into my pocket and uh, found their way here. As I've said, I've uh, got a habit of that. Got plenty of these over there, so that can stay here. Should we have a look and see what we've got in here? Yeah. Looking at this, I think most of this could actually stay in here, to be honest. What's this? It's got Stanley blades in. My stepdad's got plenty of those. Are these imperial spanners? Because if these are actually imperial, then I'll keep them. Yeah, it's a mix. Um, then again, there is plenty of spanners out there. But... Um, there's a few certain types of spanners missing, if that makes sense. So I've got screwdrivers in here that I don't use, because all the screwdrivers I want to use are out. Uh, like this one, and that can stay in there. Open that one, that drill bit can't. Some other drill bits in a pack down there, I'll take those out. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to do that in a bit. Once I've been to the bathroom. At least I got through the whole video this time. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And subscribe for more videos, and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.